Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Legend video. Now a few months ago I've done guides for at that time all four Galactic Legends, how to use them in squad arena to climb versus other Galactic Legends and mirror matches. But as you probably know we did have nerfed a lot of key characters that we used in those teams. Uh, as well as we got some AI changes to the Galactic Legends themselves and yes finally we Remember, we do have brand two brand new Galactic Legends now in the game. So it just felt like a good time to go back and redo these videos. Now this one, I'll be redoing the Ray video. And I'll be able to find this and all my other Galactic Legend videos on my Swag Up for Life tool. They'll be linked in the description below. But now let's just get started. So the first battle here, it's going to be very straightforward. Uh, Ray has absolutely no issue going up against Sif Eternal Emperor. Uh, it doesn't really matter mods, relics or anything. That's why I don't want to bother here uh, wasting your time in showing you that. You just need to really Ray and what Tambor. In most cases, that's all what you need. The good thing about it is when you do going undersized here versus uh, Sif Eternal Emperor, as soon as they take out what Tambor, Linked will disappear. There we go. And without Linked on the field, Sif Eternal Emperor basically will not be able to get to his ultimate at all. His ultimate is just charging too slowly without uh, Linked enemies. Whereas if you know you would take a full five man team in there, then Sifteran will be able to relink with somebody else. So just something to point out here that actually just taking in Ray and Watt um, is ideal. I mean it's a pretty safe for a match here. Uh, you just kind of go around, take take them out one at a time, and then one v one. Obviously Sifteran does not stand a chance versus Ray because he can't get his ultimate, so he's unable to put. Uh, Shock on Ray to, to prevent uh, from her to prevent from uh, recovering health. Obviously, slight danger is when you, you are going up against uh, these lineups with Sif Eternal and Watt. If Watt would put Mad Pack or Tank Tech on Sif Eternal, then Sif Eternal could keep recovering some protection, health, and things like that. Uh, so that could cause some issues. So you just have to be a little bit careful there uh, to what Watt is doing. Um, but you know, if you do have like uh, offense modded ray then you, you know even that wouldn't be a threat because at that point offense modded ray will be able to one shot even full health and protection if eternal emperor unless you know that if eternal emperor is really modded like for is relic 8 and modded for max half but in most cases you know this is all what you really need you can bring in a full five squad without any issue you know it'll be make it easier but just wanted to show that you know ray doesn't really need much here to take out Sif Eternal Emperor at all. There we go. He's doing his best Sif Eternal Emperor. Obviously he does have his special where he's recovering protection. So it'll take a while here. So you can just hit on auto once he's 1v1, you know. And let AI play this for you. There we go. Almost got him. And that's it. So the first battle out of the way. Very straightforward. This next one, again, very easy matchup versus Supreme Nakala Ren. Again, not showing you mods here because... To be honest, Jedi and Ray can handle any sort of uh, Supreme Leader Color Ren uh, lineups here. It doesn't really matter so much mods and relics. Um, I'm not using General Skywalker uh, in this particular battle. You can if you want, but if you do, he'll just get stunned and he won't really do much. Uh, so without him out of the team, uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren will always go after your Jedi Trevon, which will then obviously trigger Savior, give him bonus turn, and he can immediately swap turn meter. Uh, that you get stuns, then all band there will come with mind tricks, to ability blocks, and things like that. So you'll be able to very quickly uh, take this team apart. So you can just keep, there you go, putting lifeblood. Then I'll put master's training on Ray, because my Ray in this particular battle was modded for health, not offense. Uh, so I just wanted to put that master's training on her that she gets plus 25% offense, just to make sure once we're only down to Kylo, to make sure that we can really one-shot him. Uh, probably before he even gets to the ultimate. Now sometimes Kylo will get to his ultimate. It really depends on, you know, how well you uh, are able to control his uh, control his guys around him. Uh, in that case, obviously, you will want that he pops out of his ultimate before he go into his ultimate. Because when he's in ultimate, you won't be able to do damage with your ultimate to him. But there we go. Uh, I'm ready now. I got all the protection of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, so I'm just going to pop my into my ultimate now. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren has no way of recovering protection here, uh, so as long as you know there's no protection on him, even a half modded Ray should have no issues one-shotting him. And there you go, perfect timing just before he went into his ultimate. 
finished supreme the color off and that's it all right so moving on we've got now jenna master kenobi now before the nerfs um you know ray could still handle uh kenobi quite easily and in some some cases actually i feel like it's easier to counter now just because all of these jedi master kenobi squads they do have general skywalker and general skywalker before the nerfs remember he could actually uh, reduce um, health on your ray and other galactic legends for that matter which could cause issues and also he was able to ignore defense again you know kind of demolishing your team whereas now whereas general skywalker is not doing all that much damage anymore it's somewhat easier here to handle that teams with Ray, uh, because as soon as you take Commander Soka Tana out, there is really no more damage output uh, on the Jedi Master Kenobi squad. Uh, it's definitely in one way easier to do, but I'm still using the same team uh, as I did in the as I did previously in my previous guide, Ray versus Master Kenobi. AI is programmed to go after a General Skywalker. Uh, that's why I bring in Julie for the revive. Obviously, you need Revan there so you can go ahead and mark Commander Sokatano. So, anyway, uh, let's now start a battle here. They will go first, doesn't really matter. Then you put Lifeblood on Julie because he must survive at all costs so he can bring somebody back whenever they get taken out. There you go. They will always uh, instantly there defeat General Skywalker. So, when your Revan gets a turn, what you will want to do is mark Commander Sokatano. Then most likely uh, they will <laughs> trigger damage immunity on somebody. There we go, get a must stun. And because damage immunity there was triggered, uh, Ray will be able to use Whirlwind on Commander Sokatano. There, there it is. Uh, Julie brought back General Skywalker. So now you just want to pound Commander Soka. Try to get her out as quickly as you can. Uh, now because the damage immunity there was already triggered to Jehanai Trevon, I switched Lifeblood onto him just to make him a little bit more durable. We can now swap turn meter here with Luke, uh, get Jedi Wheel, that's not doing as much damage as before anymore, unfortunately. But you know, still a little bit of offense boost, hopefully, will help us out command help us out taking out Commander Soka. There she goes. Alright, we're popping our ultimate. So, you know, we have like one turn of not taking any damage, so we can a little bit recover from the opening sequence that the enemy did on us. But without Commander Soka Tano. And General Skywalker uh, not, not hitting much harder than Barris now these days. They, this team, they don't really have any more damage output. Obviously, the only threat you could say is a timeout. Uh, but as long as, you know, you can keep pushing through, go after General Skywalker, uh, you shouldn't have any issues with timeout. Now, obviously, this counter, um, I'm not going to say it works 100% of the times. Obviously, it will be a little bit uh, more than Relic level dependent. Hence, why I've shown you both my mods and enemy mods. Uh, before the battle, so just to get an idea of the battle that I'm showing you, you know, what's going on here. Um, I've tried this with uh, Health Modded Ray, I've tried this with Offense Modded Ray. It works uh, both equally well, because obviously when you do have Offense on Ray, then her ultimate will be doing a little bit more damage. Uh, however, you will have uh, less um, bonus protection to give out, uh, which sometimes, you know, if somebody does put a big hit on you, uh, for some of the squishy characters, like maybe Revan, they could just one-shot him uh, when he's out of protection, uh, you know, without really triggering that damage immunity. That could be a little bit of a threat there. Uh, so I do in one way prefer half more the tray still, I think. But anyway, just give it a go on your climbs and see what works better for you versus what you're facing in your shard here. So you can see damage immunity again triggered, so we'll be able to use Whirlwind. Again, whenever Ray gets a turn. All right, come on, Ray. There we go. Boom! There was a two for one special there from Ray, and now he just you know can master Kenobi. But unlike uh, Sith Eternal there uh, and uh, Supreme Lakalor and Kenobi, you know he can get lots of his bonus protection up on his heal ability and things like that. So again, it may take a while here uh, that you do take him out if he starts uh, recovering this uh, his protection, getting bonus protection. But hopefully. You know that oh there he goes the ability this ability luckily has five turn cooldown uh so you should be able to get him out quite quickly so you can see still everybody alive on my team uh just go ahead there mark him again he will keep going after general skywalker time to pop the ultimate and this is pretty much over now as soon as ray comes out uh we'll be able to take him out 
and finish him there we go or even janet look probably his basic might be enough okay so up next we've got a lord vader another brand new galactic legend now lord vader is actually very hard to find in my arena shot at least i know quite a few people have him unlocked as well as small but just occasionally somebody one or two players would maybe leave him on defense mostly it's still or master kenobi so i'm not sure if this is the best modded lord vader the the optimal lord vader lineup i'm not sure um so it was just the only one i could test up against and for this one we'll have to bring in some help uh ray and jedi for me at least uh, were not completely enough to get these wins consistently just because the royal guard is so tanky that you know he just shrugs off world wind quite easily um, and then he heals back up and things like that. So I did have to bring in Commander Sokatano there so she can, uh, you know, do a big force leap there, instantly defeating Royal Guard no matter how much health he has left. And then Lord Vader himself as well is very tanky. So this definitely has a potential of timeout. Now I'm bringing in General Kenobi. So yes, more will start with uh, five stack of, stacks of anguish. But just found Kenobi here very helpful. Uh, just a little bit taunt here and there. And then obviously as well he has mass assists and things like that. But anyway, there we go. They start off with some debuffs on us. And there we go. There goes Maul already. Boom. Trigger damage immunity. And now we can Whirlwind Kylo out of here. Perfect. Let's go ahead now swap Termiter here uh, with uh, General Skywalker. Which a big hit. As you can, we can hardly doing any damage now. General Skywalker, he's just not a powerhouse as he used to be anymore. Using her Meteora here to heal up, get some foresight. Now we're stuck behind Royal Guard. So pretty much until we get four sleep out of here um, to instantly defeat Royal Guard with Commander Sokatano, we're pretty much stuck. Uh, do not have Jedi Trevan here to ignore the taunt. Uh, just really wanted to bring him in here like a durable team. All right, there we go. So I'm just putting here Master's Training on Ray to boost uh, her damage for her ultimate because she'll be getting plus 25 percent offense because of my master training buffs there you go i can use whirlwind here i can go into ultimate i'm like you know what whirlwind won't really kill a royal guard there so i'm just going to go into my ultimate because here comes their ultimate so i want to be able to survive it unfortunately they've got ability blocks on us here just keep healing up everybody with yoda a little bit all right on all the ultimate Oh, there we go. Okay, we did some decent damage, but look at Royal Guard. Oh, man. <laughs> He's tanking like a champ. All right, there we go. All right, so we're almost now um, in... Uh, uh, four, we almost got four sleep ready to be used. I think on um, Ahsoka's next turn, it should be good to go. So you can see, not even a full health Royal Guard. He was still able to take that without any issues. Here comes Maul again wrecking my kenobi and that's why we brought kenobi in there just that he get wrecked instead of you know commander sokatana for example there you go used for sleep royal guard out of there and now we're just free here to go after everybody unfortunately did not land the days on piet but i did use whirlwind on him got him out there goes damage immunity on john skywalker uh, but guys this isn't over yet lord vader is a handful as you will see he really put up a fight uh, so this can easily drag on for another minute or two quite easily here. There we go, let's unload the ultimate now. 280, got him in the yellow. Um, but you know, Lord Vader does have the ability to heal back up. So there you go, he healed back into the green. Uh, I'm just going to now keep going after it. Uh, put their lifeblood on General Skywalker. Heal up with Hermit Yoda. So we just have to keep pounding him. Keep going after him. There we go. All right, we can apply armor shred. Obviously, you cannot now anymore critically hit Lord Vader. Uh, so that's why it'll take a while here. So, <laughs> 14k for sleep. Wow, Commander Sokatana, is that all what you've got for me here? Oh boy. Anyway, keep pumping love blood. We have to stay alive. Now, for my testing, AI will always wait uh, to get the ultimate to full fully charge. There we go, fully charged, almost healed back up, not looking too good at the moment. Um, but you know, let's just go into ultimate, because um, Lord Vader will enter into his ultimate now, and he's back to full health, are you kidding me? Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Come on Ray, what you got for me? There we go, almost got him. 
So if you're struggling maybe with this timeout versus Lord Vader, you could maybe try switching to offense ray uh, instead of uh, health sets as a head on her. All right, um, now Jedi Master Luke. This probably could be the trickiest team for Ray, really, just because um, Jedi Master Luke, you know, he's got a, uh, their AoE in beginning with ability blocks, and then Ray can't use Lifeblood if she's got an ability block, and then your team can literally get totally hammered by all these Jedi. Uh, the true damage, you know, they get as well from um, Master Luke's leadership. Uh, so for this one I did find that you need a particular build of Ray uh, to get his wins consistently. You have to throw tenacity on her just so she has a great chance. There you go, I have 156% tenacity on her. So she in most cases then will resist that ability block. And as well I did put uh, as much as offense I could on her. Uh, so you know, be because getting around taunt sometimes is hard, even though you do have Revan that can mark. Uh, so then at least her then ultimate will do a little bit more damage and hopefully can knock somebody out especially je getting Jedi Trevan uh, as quickly as possible out will be the key uh, if they do have if Master Luke they do have a Revan on there obviously there's always a little bit of RNG here uh, who uh, enemy Jedi Trevan will mark if he marks your Jedi Trevan you potentially could be in trouble because then you won't be able to mark anybody but as long as he marks anybody other than your Jedi Trevon, you should be good to go here, really. So you go, just keep uh, putting Live Blood there into uh, Jedi Trevon, because you know he can save other Jedi, but not himself. And there goes their ultimate already. Are you kidding me? <laughs> anyway, finally got a turn now uh, with my Jedi Trevon. So I'll just here swap turn meter, get all these debuffs. Now, unfortunately, you can only stand two out of three characters on the enemy side, but still, I'll take that better than nothing. And finally, I can get my mark uh, online. Um, mark Jedi Trevan there. I have Orlwind ready, so I'll just get rid of Jedi Trevan. And obviously, with only four enemies, when we do pop our ultimate, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to do some nice big hits on one of the other guys as well. We have offense on our ray. I think it was close to 10k uh, that I showed you mods in the beginning. And then plus 25% extra offense we're getting from Master's training. So I'm hoping this will be enough there uh, to take out General Skywalker when I do unload my ultimate. Okay, let's see what we got here. There we go. And also took out Hermit Yoda. Perfect. That's why I think for best results, you will want a mix of tenacity and offense uh, going versus Jedi Master Luke. Uh, if I wouldn't have offense on Marie, probably both their General Skywalker and Hermit Yoda would still survive that hit. Uh, but now, you know, you're just kind of down here to both looks, shouldn't be any more problem. But you just see how quickly they got their ultimate off. I'm always shocked how quickly that happened. It feels like whenever I'm using Jedi Master Luke, it takes forever to get the ultimate off. But anyway, there we go. Obviously with the nurse now, General Skywalker won't be anymore uh, reducing uh, health on Jedi Master Luke, won't be increasing his cooldowns. Uh, by this point, it doesn't really matter anymore. I'm um, just going to unload the ultimate and that should be the end of Master Luke there. Alright, he's doing his best, but you know, he can't do anything now that we are an ultimate. I'm just going to go ahead, unload it, boom, down he goes. Perfect. Alright, so one more battle to go here for today's video. And yes, probably <sighs> Raymier matches are actually worse than they used to be. Because before, at least, you know, uh, you could just use John Skywalker. Uh, just load him with uh, Jedi wheel, offense up, and he would literally almost sometimes one-shot Ray without protection. He can't anymore reduce her health and everything. So these mirror matches are actually one way trickier, and there's a bigger threat of timing out. Um, so maybe for this one, you will want again to mod your uh, Ray for offense instead of how just so that her ultimate now can at least do more damage because. Uh, relying on General Skywalker doing damage. Uh, those days are gone. However, I'm still bringing General Skywalker into this team for one very reason, and that is because Rey, like other Galactic Legends, has a high priority for General Skywalker. So as long as you keep lifeblood on General Skywalker, he should be able to take a couple of whirlwinds uh, quite easily. Uh, so you don't need a tank in here. You just kind of use General Skywalker as the bait here, really. His, that's his role here, to be a bait, while the other Jedi and Rey, they do all the work. 
Now probably this uh, raid team with Commander Sokatano uh, is probably the toughest one to beat, I would say, just because Commander Sokatano brings extra offense, extra durability to the team. Yeah, uh, you also have to be wary of of her force sleep that she doesn't instantly defeat one of your guys. Even Raven's savior won't help you there. Um, so it's going to now obviously go after Commander Sokatano first. Let's swap with Jenna at Luke, get a stun out on the characters that we can stun. Go to my commander Sokatano and just go all out on her. Um, but as you can see, she's got lots of bonus protection already uh, because Ray, because of commander Soka, she's getting plus 50% health, uh, which means more. She will lose more health when she uses Life Blood, which means more bonus protection for all her allies. But anyway, just doing my best here. Almost got rid of the bonus protection of commander Sokatano. But there goes the ultimate. I'm not going to go to my ultimate yet. I'll just keep uh, building up my bonus protection here uh, as many times as I can. Because as, you know, as long as their commander Sokatano is in there, we won't. Our ultimate won't do a whole lot of damage because there will be five targets that the damage uh, will be shared between. So there you go. We got another mark online uh, reapplied to commander Sokatano. Uh, we got Jedi Wheel, but again, they're an ultimate, so we can't do any damage to them. Just keep pumping lifeblood, keep getting ready to take that ultimate from the enemy ray. There we go, perfect. Now we can go all out on Commander Sokatana. Hopefully we can get a whirlwind online here quickly. There we go, got Commander Sokatana out, perfect. Uh, so they lost all the bonuses now from Commander Sokatana. We don't have to worry about full sleep anymore. All right, they're going after Revan, unfortunately. Um, He's got live blood, so maybe just go after Genite Luke Skywalker. There we go. He lost all the bonus protection. Now we are stuck behind Kenobi Stone. We still got uh, three turns there uh, to get to uh, another direct focus. All right, let's heal up. My Revan is not looking too good. Perfect. Another whirlwind. Get Luke out of here. And at this point, we're looking good. They're going into ultimate. Um, okay, there we go. Just keep going after Kenobi, I guess. Doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, Jedi will go in. And now it's time that I do pop my ultimate. Um, because we are not looking that good anymore. That ultimate probably would have taken care of my Revan and General Skywalker. So I just wanted to make sure that we can all survive. So going into my ultimate now. Um, not sure my ultimate will be enough to take somebody down. Let's have a look if we can whittle down somebody. There we go. Uh, it wasn't quite enough. There we go. We're able to get rid of Kenobi. There goes another ultimate. Savior triggered. And this is what you will notice. General Skywalker doing hardly any damage to Rey. Can't anymore uh, as well. Redu uh, reduce health. Uh, it looks like her, her Ray will get into another ultimate probably, or we can maybe take her out before she does. Come on, John Skywalker. Oof. <sighs> oh man. Alright, there we go. So as you can see, definitely these Ray Mirror matches, they do drag on for a while. Um, so yeah, for me definitely personally, these Ray Mirror matches are worse than they used to be, just because John Skywalker is just not doing as much damage as he used to. Uh, there we go. Enemy Ray lost her ultimate, still got about a minute to spare, so actually this battle wasn't that bad in the end after all. And there you go guys, that's how you can use Ray in Squad Arena to climb versus other Galactic Legend and Mirror matches. And obviously there are various compositions of Ray and other Galactic Legends, so you know, I wasn't able to capture all of them. But hopefully this video will give you some sort of idea uh, what to do, what kind of techniques and mechanics to use versus different uh, teams that you'll be facing in squad arena on your daily climb hope you found this video useful and helpful uh, let me know in the comments below or on my discord server but until then have fun enjoy life and may the rng be with you my friends